This is Therese Fayjouf's office. The Darrière mayor is on maternity leave and gets her files from City Hall delivered to her house, an opportunity not afforded to many women in Senegal. There were so many hostile comments from men who said I was too young and as a woman I could never be mayor of the city. But the women in my community mobilised for me, since they are very much aware that real problems in this country are ones that directly affect women and children. Juve comes from a wealthy family. Nannies and domestic workers help her cope with the demands of everyday life. Her youngest daughter is just a few months old. She admits she's privileged. She says she owes a lot to her mentor, the president of Senegal, Macky Sall. President Sall inspired me to join politics. I was so impressed by how he supported local initiatives, that he supported youths and women's groups and students. And so we, the young people from around here, said, this is a man we need to support. While she was still a student, Juve began campaigning for Sal, who'd only just formed his political party. When he became president, Sal rewarded her for her commitment and put her in charge of his party's youth organisation. The members of the group have nothing but admiration for their boss. Yesterday you were in the maternity ward and today you are here before us. This shows your commitment and your strength and shows that you're just as strong as a man. Juve's commitment to her work and her support for the president are unwavering. Everyone she works with here wants President Saal to win a second term. Juve's day is not over. After the party meeting, she heads off to a kindergarten. She's the director general of the Federation of Public Kindergartens, a job she also owes to her mentor. At the moment, Senegal has about 1,500 state preschools and kindergartens. Juve hopes to significantly increase that number, especially in rural regions. All of us working in the Senegalese education system have sent out a message that now everyone, even people in remote rural areas, know that they have to send their children to school. That's why preschool education in Senegal, which wasn't very developed, is now making progress. Juve belongs to a generation of young Senegalese who've been educated abroad. But she's hoping that these children will have the opportunity to finish their schooling right here at home.